Hi, John Peranchi from McGrath with your November property market update. As the year draws to a close, the property market has, as usual, seen an uptick in listings, giving buyers more options. However, with higher interest rates and the ongoing high cost of living, buyers are understandably cautious in their spending. Notably, for the first time since January 2023, the Sydney property market showed a slight decline in October, with CoreLogic reporting a 0.1% drop in values across the city. Despite this minor dip, Sydney prices have still risen by 3.7% on average over the past year. Now, we might see a slight price adjustment in the coming months, but once interest rates start to ease, likely by mid next year, prices will start to creep up again. In the past month, my team and I have continued to deliver outstanding results both on and off the market, totaling $17.874 million in sales. Here are some highlights. 2 Griffith Street, Ermington, sold at auction to a local family for $2,435,000 after being previously listed with another agent. 30 Manning Road, Glazeville, sold prior to auction for just under $2.25 million, also after failing to sell with the previous agent. 72 Policia Road, Putney, off-market sale to a local family for $5 million. One Stroke 38 Osborne Avenue Putney sold at auction for $1,689,000. With such strong interest, we had to bring the auction forward. The property sold for $239,000 above the vendor's reserve. And confidentially, an off-market sale in Putney, an eight-year-old family home sold to a qualified buyer we've been working with for three months, closing at $6.5 million. Excitingly, we've just listed 19 Delmar Parade Glazeville, a rare waterfront parcel of land on 850 square metres with a slipway. This property goes to auction on Saturday, the 7th of December. As a reminder, the period from December 26 to January 26 is typically the busiest for real estate web traffic. According to realestate.com, domain.com and our social media supplier, 23rd Street, statistics clearly show that buyers use this time to explore properties at leisure. We've seen great success launching listings in early January with auctions scheduled for early to mid-February. Now with fewer properties on the market at this time, your listing will have maximum exposure. This January, we're already gearing up with four properties slated for auction on February the 8th, and these will go live in early January. This strategy helps ensure strong engagement, setting your property at the forefront of the new pool of buyers in early 2025, alongside those who missed out this year. For a confidential chat about current market trends, or how we can prepare your property for our Super Saturday auction weekend in February, please reach out. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to sharing our end of year wrap with you next month.